the firmware update in the Aptus. Um, embedded in Aptus, we've got a firmware loader program and a file manager. Um, the firmware loader program is, as I said, embedded in the software and once clicking on that, it will automatically disconnect the antenna from the Aptus and will automatically basically connect or search for the right port to connect the firmware loader. Um, file manager, if you have internet access, you would be able to connect to the server in Korea and from that server you can download the latest firmware for your system, save that to your laptop and then use the loader to upload program into the system. Checking in this corner software information, we can see that the antenna pedestal control unit is 1.22, the antenna stabilizer 1.14, ACU main 1.21. Those three uh, files are uploaded from the firmware uploader. The library and web server are uploaded uh, uh, separate from the firmware uh, which you can download from the server. So as I said, in this situation, we've got 1.22, 114 and 121. Now my laptop is connected to the internet. And if I go to the file manager now, you can see it's connecting. And I already downloaded the package to my laptop. So normally this uh, V100 would be on this side in this row and by putting a mark in front of your uh, the, the firmware you need pressing the arrow it would come to the designated area or path which you are uh, saving your software on your laptop so in my situation i downloaded the firmware package 141022 and of course uh, the firmware release will change over time 141022 basically means year 2014, month number 10, and the date, the release date 22. So, firmware is on my laptop and I can close this. If I now press the firmware loader, it's disconnecting from the Aptus, pressing next. As you can see, this is a serial uh, software package. It's not possible to do this uh, while connect connecting to an Ethernet port. So it's requesting to you, are you connected to the PC port? This is the new model ACU. This is an older module ACU model. And all you need to do is press OK, I'm connected. Pressing the drop down arrow it will search for the ports which are connected and it will tell you that it can use COM3. So I select COM3. Now the system will check. And after checking, it will tell you which software is currently in the, so in the system. So 114, 122 and 121. Open your file and browse to where you have your firmware. The package I downloaded from the uh, Korean server, the 141022, select that one, open, and it will tell me that the difference between the software inside your system and the software which is going to be loaded is only pedestal control unit. The other two will not change, it's only pedestal control unit. Of course, it's possible that in your situation you will have two or three files but that's uh, that, you, that you will see yourself. Press next. Do you want a firmware update? Yes, I will. And it will start. Doing a complete firmware update would take you about two minutes. Uh, but since this is only one file, it will take you like 45 seconds to do it. In theory, it's that it's like that when you do a firmware update, 
the new firmware will be only activated after complete installation in, into the system. So if for any reason this one fails, you can just start it again. It will not uh, damage your system in any way. So now it's completed. Okay. Finish. And since the, uh, since the firmware loader disconnected my Aptus, I have to connect my Aptus again. And as you can see, it's now connected and the antenna pedestal control unit changed from 122 to 124. As you can see, firmware update, simple, and uh, everybody can do it.